The total solar eclipse is less than two weeks away, and the Seneca Park Zoo is teaming up with an RIT researcher to see how the solar spectacle will impact animal behavior. 13 Web's Natalie Calzatoni tells us how experts will be watching closely. Natalie, good evening. Good evening, Matt. Unlike humans, animals will not be needing special glasses for the total solar eclipse. But experts from the zoo and RIT believe certain animals will behave differently on April 8th. Tony Vonacek, professor of imaging science at RIT, will be spending April 8th at Seneca Park Zoo to see if the eclipse provokes odd behavior in animals using audio moths. The microphones will be put out a few days before, so we'll get kind of normal things, and then we'll have the eclipse occurring, and then leave them out for a couple days after that as well to see how they respond back. Vodacek and the zoo have been collaborating for a few years and even traveled to Madagascar to study animals with audio moths. Now, they'll be using the technology to see if animals react to the eclipse. And then you just pop it on. And it's recording. According to David Hamilton, general curator at Seneca Park Zoo, certain animals will react more than others. They don't have a watch like, like we do, so they just think it's evening time and they're getting ready for, for bed and doing those sorts of behaviors. Maybe some of them will call, some of them will um, maybe start heading towards their, their holding areas for the night. According to Tom Snyder, the zoo's nine audio moths will be placed around the zoo and collect sound from 12 different animal habitats. He says while there was a change of behavior during the partial eclipse years ago, this is the first time the zoo will be researching this in depth. Science is all about filling in the holes, so as we uh, put these out and collect more and more information, it just adds to that story and allows us to fill in some of the holes that we have uh, for certain species. But we're not, not giving the animals glasses because they're not going to be staring at the sun. We have more information about this and other eclipse events on the Total Solar Eclipse page on 13wham.com. Matt? Natalie, thank you. And don't forget, join us Friday night for a 13 Wham special solar spectacle. A closer look at how the Rochester area is getting ready for the big day and some of the special events happening across the region. That special airs Friday night at 730 right here on 13 Wham ABC.